Roy has to do everything. We'll see how much he can get. It's the first on towards Roy under a lot of pressure now. Down to 5 HP and he actually gets a second kill out of that. Finally, Nika Dawes will remove him from the site. Here comes a quick rotation up through mid. That's actually, I mean, he did just enough to make this doable. I, I'll take it back. I thought that was going to be a much quicker, a much cleaner entrance from Fnatic hopping out of halls, and now they've got to hold off this retake. Oh, the P250 still stands, but Techno 4K has kicked things off. On the oh. retake, the draw Barrettas! Oh, wow, okay. Techno with the spin. He finds three kills and the defuse. And still another smoke that Crims now has to call to his teammates. It's a bit unfortunate here for Fnatic, but eventually they've just got to go, and they're going to smoke out CT. Might, I mean, they would probably love to have a flashbang right now, because that's a deep smoke they could have lined up in and used a pop flash to get a really, really quick fight out of it, but now they kind of have to wait for it to fade. Oh, the nade's coming in at a perfect time, too. Krim's so low, finished off by score. Just been some great moves so far from IHC. Missed shot, Blitz goes through the CT smoke. Mezzi now has the clutch. 20 seconds, and still has to clear out the B-bomb site. He has done a very good job there, and Annihilation's low. Luckily, swings and connects the shot, but Messi started to believe for a second. It was this defense starting out in the five, trying to set him up for a challenge, has fallen flat. Well, Roy is called as AK-47, the raw sauce, and you can see why. Annihilation peaks and dies. And Roy now looking to move forward. His teammates coming in behind him. And oh, <laughs> Fasher was just blown away by that. Roy also goes down, and now it's Messi fighting the final 30 seconds. He will also fall, leaving only Nico Dawes in a one versus two. Now, that I see a chance here, Jason. He's got a lot of time. Yeah, but that fake plan is going to chew a lot of it off. Now he don't think he has time to reposition out of the bombsite itself. He's going to have to just hold on, uh, and that is bad. Nico Dawes sitting in the site. This is kind of fumbled right now. He's under a lot of pressure. <laughs> the utility forcing him into the uncomfortable spot of the corner, and they know exactly where he's gone. That's just so well played from IHC. I mean, that's Through a clutch. Crimson Roy going to take control anyways. Brute force. bartak has got to be careful. Made a footstep, and he goes back for it. That might have been ill-advised. It's all on Techno. What a shot. But now he's overwhelmed. One more Ooh. kill for him, and disappearing behind the smoke. That's really solid from Techno 4K. And Fnatic, once again, this is probably one of the better positions they've been in, but it still doesn't feel great. You've got Nico Dawes, who's heavily damaged at 32 HP. He'll play inside of the pit. See how I see get back into this one. You still got some utility left, too, on Annihilation. Techno with low HP should hold for the pit peak at this ha at this broken wall, and the rest of the rifles try and make their way in, and Roy puts a stop to it quickly. Yeah, it's a big P for Roy. He just drops back into the site again. Nico Dawes, remember, is low, but he's got such a strong position. And finally, Fnatic will pick up their first rounds. Second Molotov is towards Dark, and that is not going to put Blitz under pressure whatsoever, but it will limit the positions they can play from so they can focus on new box and score on the drop down on the fadeaway takes out mezzi and oh annihilation was so close to bringing down the bomb plant to but fasher's defending and a second kill on annihilation allows the bomb to go down and fasher is showing why he's called the masher he's got the awp out and just all techno B -bomb and ihc in a 4v5 stack up but techno and bartak gonna push again close to the corner actually all four players to collapse on brackets and Fasher's just holding with the AK, and now the time to go, but he's not checked the left side, and that's going to cost them a couple of kills. IHC with pistols are up two, and now they've got a rifle. Can Mezzi recover this? He's got Nico Dawes' scope out to his left side. In the meantime, King Crim's trying his best, but Mezzi's just going to fall. And this is a horrible round so far from Fnatic, but Crim's just keeps pulling it back. Crim's all the way, and Nico Dawes will assist him to look out for they don't really find as much success. And I'll tell you what, this this aggression, these positions in Banana have really backfired for like the past four or yeah. five rounds now. Another opening kill for Fnatic and Banana. And the early peaks in aggression from IHC is... Actually, they're undoing. Annihilation with the AWP trying to peek around the smoke, but again, great utility. He goes down for free, and IHC completely lose control of this opening half of Inferno. Yeah, just two players left, Bartak and Techno 4K. To have to attempt it due to it being the last round of play in the first. But way back in is very hard to see at the moment. Bartak's coming back over from Speedway. But Fnatic are safely tucked inside of this B site. They've even got Nikodors out towards Banana. Sure, some utility for IHC, but Fnatic have some of their own and they're just holding them back. Techno 4K not seeing any 
Opportunities arising towards him. They have smoked off Banana at least. And Techno gets caught through the smoke by Nico Dos. Not the player I was expecting to close it. Here we go. Fnatic pull it back. 9-6 to six As lead. As well at the broken wall in pit. Fosher in support. But Roy with these duelies is going to have a huge role to play. The P2000. A classic weapon used in a classic way by Nikodos. A good headshot. Roy on the double with the Julies. And Nikodos is just staying alive. Buying as much time as he can. And no! <laughs> he does a little bit more than that. Lovely work from Nikodos. Oh. And Fanatic's challenging at brackets. So without any kind of a flashbang or smoke or Molotov or anything, this crossfire is going to be devastating. Roy holds for three. And he's tucked into the corner. Messi comes around and sweeps up the rest. It's, it's just too easy. Yeah. Here we go. Utilities dumping right on top of Techno. And here they go. Set off around the corner. Crims actually gets caught by the flash. But luckily has a lot of teammates with him. And they're going to take two kills and leave IHC at a real tough spot. That's the kind of move you need to take. You have to take a risk. And score goes to the side of the smoke and gets a double. They're looking for Crims, but they just can't find him. <laughs> and Crims with the MP9 inside of the well, smoke. This boost works out for Fnatic. I like the idea of putting Fasher in a an unexpected position. But he has just come off of it now, and here they come around the corner. Fasher does some damage, but gets caught from behind. Just too much to handle for him, and you would have liked the AK to be the weapon that had that space and that time. But it is at least something for Roy, and Nikodos from Library sends a shot out. It will connect onto Blitz, leaving just two on either side. And oh, the USP is doing its best here, but it's all about the AWP. It's all about getting Nikodos in a position where he's able to fight. They're making some noise on this boost. But very intelligent from IC, not giving this up, not over peaking. There's a player in that mini pit at the moment, but they're just not giving Fnatic any chances. He's coming right at this. Techno's going to be the first. Oh, oh, one for one. Great trades from IC. They're going to pick up the pace. Nico and now Nico here. goes into the fight. That's incredible. He actually just runs up and he gets the mid pick too. Nikodos is on one right now and he stayed alive. Flash goes up. Nikodos burned out of position, but doesn't care. He'll reposition quickly behind the safety of the pillar. In the meantime, though, his teammates are getting caught and scoring the double. Suddenly, it's all just Nikodos. The poor oh, clutch way. and another incredible shot. He's on for a 4K, but he's up against the sharpest tool. It's score! Oh, oh, oh. And no, damn! Nikodos with all the shots, great movement. And that is what you love to see from Nikodos. Nikodos, another one. And he's gonna just keep going, but finally, Annihilation, even while blinded, commits to the kill. Messi swung into the open, set up with a flash himself. It's a one for one. I see with 23 seconds, still have to deal with Crims inside of this B site. And there's a quick flank coming up Banana right now. Crims just needs to stay alive. The longer he stays alive, the more this round looks good for Fnatic. Roy gets one in the flank, then Crims intelligent. And that's map point for Fnatic. Still looking for 30 with half days if they want to end this round. I don't think that's happening because this Crims is under quite a bit of pressure, but there is one player that can handle that pressure and not crack. It would be Crims, who just gets two right away. Now the rotation is starting to come back in. The cavalry will arrive, and the push for the smoke. I don't see this going very well for Blitz, but he actually body blocks into one player and manages to get away with one. But it's just Annihilation, and it will be Fnatic that dish out the most one-sided defeat on Inferno for IHC this year. They figure them out. Kita didn't lie. From Fnatic in towards B. Bartak is going to be here with a lot of players. There's quite a stack over on this B bomb site right now for IHC. And Bartak dancing around the pillar alongside Techno. They've taken every kill. And Fnatic are held at the door. They're just not getting through. I mean, Nikodos can get something, but it's just one. And IHC won the pistol. That's it's important. Bartak has got a pretty decent spot to deal with this. But it starts to move as they start to come in. And Techno's run out of ammo. That's very unfortunate to watch. Fnatic are into the site. Should start to plant the bomb soon. It's seconds. Mezzi. Maybe think about... Oh, oh not fighting. He's repositioning. He's he missed the Molotov. Is that time? And, well, he might... There is, yeah. yeah he's got he it. just about oh. got it. He came off it because he thought the Molotov was going to land on top of him. But he's able to get it down at least. And oh! Oh. The round, Fnatic with the headshot. It's Mezzi on the... Scores boost is still good, but he's just missed the chance of Crims seen him on the cross back. And so Crims is able to hit the headshot, gap in the smoke, annihilation down. It's all toppling. Finally, Blitz steps up and does something for IHC, but they've already lost the sight. They're making the rotate back through, and at this point, it feels like they have a chance to go for oh. it, but Roy <laughs> domes him through the wall. Yeah, that one's not ideal, is it? Bata, the low HP player. Thor, who's coming through Monster. 10 seconds as well. This could be the denial of the bomb plant if he can time it correctly. Someone's got a plan. Someone's going to get it down now. Score in the back lines here. He has, to, down. He has to plan now. He has to There's plan. No They've lost the round. They've lost the round. Ah, exactly what we were talking about. Oh. Just came into fruition. But, like, it's, it's weird because I Last. don't even know.
Fash is just running. Run boost. Oh, they've run over the top of him, oh, but Fash no. is able to watch it. He watches it happen right in front of him. And the quick B play looked like it was going to work for Fnatic, but suddenly the kills favor the side of IHC. But Mezzi's still in here. He's still in the middle. The enemy lines, and Blitz will see him take him out, leaving just Nikodos, who takes an instantaneous dink. He's down to 12, and he'll start to move through, but it feels like a futile effort now. I ain't see about to take the lead. There we go, 5-4. That's the headshot, but are they ready for long here? They're not looking the right way. They're not looking at long at all, and Bartak only manages one. They realized there had to be a second player there, because Score had taken someone down earlier. A two versus two, Fnatic get onto the site. But both remaining players are very low. They can still win this. The HP is only a factor because Techno's on the flank. Techno's coming up on that flank and does get the kill on Mezzi. It's now only Crims. Gather information on some close peaks. Running that clock down. Here comes Techno. Oh. So close for Crims. Annihilation runs over and gets the kit to confirm He's got the jewel. Beretta is the P2000 setting up the chance. Here comes the jewel. He's slamming down it on the table. Roy throws it all <laughs> down and Nikodos helps. Uh, kind of what we expected, Jason. Perfect analysis heading into that one. I love how he just spammed as fast as he could, and there was still so many bullets that he could slow it down and just start tapping in 20 <laughs> seconds. Nikodaz plays in the swap truck. Roy gets caught. Nikodaz at least finding one here for Fnatic. Can whoa, okay. Mezzi looks the FAMAS, makes the FAMAS look good rather, and uh, I don't know how he's done that, but holds down for a 3k. Right side, and now sprint into the site itself. Blitz clears out. Fasher at least attempts to do so. Ooh. He holds for one kill, but eventually swings into score. And yeah. Messi's turn from short. There it is, double kill. That wow. follow-up dink from Fasher was magnificent. Annihilation left in a 1v3. He's had some spectacular clutches. Can he flick up fast enough? Ooh, yes, he can. Of course he can, Jason. There we go. Annihilation flicks on up, and we've been waiting for a clutch from him for a while now. Maybe this is one of them, but sees the shadow. Unfortunately, Messi's seen him a little Back quicker. Back to an advantage. Blitz, oh, <laughs> that is sick. He's not ready for the third player, but the first two were great, and it does put Techno, his friend of Annihilation, in a position where they can maybe pull this one off, but Nikodos, good idea. Almost good. almost perfect timing for Techno. Yeah, Nikodos is just being very patient. Now Roy has finally joined him. Just one flash left. Jump spot there, peaked from Nikodos. Getting ready to peek into this. There comes the flash, the jump around the corner. There's been a tap on the defuse too to put pressure on Annihilation and force him into the peak. And they play that one really well. And he spotted Crimson's head, but now they have to go because the utility is starting to come in. And Fasher this time from the pillar brings down three. It's not the one for one for the Dutchman. And IHC have not broken through. Yeah, but it's a team flash. That's a horrendous time for it as well. The support flash from Mezzi never comes out, but Annihilation blinded two teammates. Missed time, pushed through Monster. And all they can really do is hope and Blitz is going to gain a lot of ground. He's sprinting. He's got the position. Oh, oh, oh. And Nikodos oh. just gets one tapped. One bullet, easily connected. And now IHC are on for 15. Blitz has got the right read. He's got that Grand Master Brand worrying up. And Crims, though, he beats him. He beats him in the fight. Now Annihilation, he has to clutch. Crims is the player with a kit. Mezzi doesn't have a kit, nor any utility. A missed shot from Annihilation, though. He's missed way too many of these. And he has to go for this time. Crims is slow. Swing him. Oh. Fight him. And the P250 brings him down. Annihilation has the clutch. It's 15 rounds for IHC. There it is, man. They needed that. Crims gets pulled right Position. off. Bathrooms fast flank from Fosher is going to come up the stairs as well. Oh, oh no. Oh, isn't that great? It's not great at all, but Crimson Roy recovering this. Blitz does find Roy, but it's about this flank of Fasher, and he pushed through Monster. It does look like that might be the winning play of this round. Annihilation won't be able to find Crims this time and win a one versus two. Oh, certainly, especially with this contact, it's perfect time to have the AWP. There's the first. He's going to look for a second here, too, and he'll absolutely lock that one in. Overtime looks pretty much 100% confirmed now. Just Blitz left. And Fnatic, they stay up. IHC unable to close and capitalize on that opportunity. It's a close out over Smoke, Pat. another kill this time on score, but it's all about Mezzi. Out towards the bathrooms. Oh, Annihilation goes into the open, not ready, but Techno 4K activates quickly, gets the trade in. And now can he take down his nemesis that is Nikodos? Good utility from IHC, though, means he doesn't really have to. And Nikodos is in the bank. It's Problem is, there's a player on his left side, and the bomb plant oh, will be confirmed. Bartak takes Nikodos down, and IHC are still fighting here in overtime. It's just Krim stuck in the bathrooms, and he hit winning this one versus three. They're fixated upon this possibility. He'll climb up, and spotted. 
Now the crossfire should trap him in. And I see what once again take the lead. He sleeps, uh, slips out and unfortunately will not be able to get anything. Here so they come, Fnatic attacking into the A site. That lurk smokes out and actually helping Fnatic try and get into the site, but scores rifle from the corner. Another double kill. Bomb down, Fnatic. Oh, they're crumbling. Oh, the nade comes in. It's a five versus two this time. Surely they can't let slip this one. Crimson has taken score out finally, but score's work is already done. The ramifications of it have been felt. And Nikodaz, a 1v4 ahead of him. Missing every shot that comes his way. And it's IHC, the takeover pass. They force map three versus Fnatic. Everyone's staring right at him, but Mezzi and the site is dropped next. Roy is still alive. Roy's got two. Oh, Roy's Deagle always finds a way. And now he picks up a rifle. They've overwhelmed him from two sides. And IHC caused some pressure. And now they start to cross. Mezzi pops up with the first. They got in for the second player in the vent, but he just can't break through the in-game leader, who gets himself a double kill. And Fasher helps. Finally, Annihilation activates. And that's a nice second shot that opens up a pathway into B. Sight and now a perfectly lined flank is opened up. And yeah, the bomb will at least go down, but getting more than that, it all comes down to this fight. And Nikodos is going to win it immediately. Roy peeks with him, and they've Ramp got the room, jump. Crims, you're locked in. You missed the jump, and it's all over. Molotov to keep them at bay. Roy's already down low, double kill, and Annihilation's got to do something. Him and score. Well, Roy's down here, Ooh, looking to cause a few more problems, but score is so quick, but Unfortunately, it is just going to be one more for him. Annihilation has to do something here, but Nico Dawes has had his number quite a few times in the series. And it's Blitz who managed to slip down the vent early. That's the last player to die. 4K with a lovely headshot. Nico Dawes has turned to try and step up, but he will do that. He will take down Bartak and the bomb in one foul shot and a second one. And Nico Dawes just keeps going for good reason. A third kill. And just Annihilation alone. And Nico Dawes just add him. Just add him to the conveyor belt of death, but... Annihilation at least fights back. Techno and bot attack. Multiple kills in and crims from heaven. Again, good for one. I think they knew that response, though, from Roy. Bartak just sat in the smoke waiting for him that whole time. Crims goes down next. Ooh. Do you want to mess with Nikodaz? The AWP has got to jump the gauntlet, and indeed he does, but Fosher's ready and waiting. Close lined in lobby. That's the and bomb. score and Bartak in the complete wrong positions. They have to run back into the lobby to get the bomb, and that means going into Fasher. who sprinkles more damage onto score. They're holding him back. Nades being thrown in, flashes, everything. But the kitchen sink thrown at Fasher here. He still stands strong. Another kill for Fasher, and you'll lock it out. Fnatic was I sick. Out. I mean, I've seen playing a very different game than what they played on Overpass or Nico Inferno. Nico right? he's got himself the first blitz just running into the AWP, and oh, he's under so much pressure. Perhaps speed Roy's is just the again. end of the game for I and see. Well, Roy again finding himself a really strong spot, and that's taking the sting out of the attack. Maybe he can get another one, too. He knows he slowed this down, so why not? Why not go back for a double dip? It is better the second time. Bang! What a swing from Bartak. Roy caught in between two places, not sure where to look. It's a tough plant position. Crims can't break the window just yet. He's letting that clock run pretty low. Eventually got to get on towards it. Annihilation goes to the utility belt first. Messi's got a great headshot, but you got to smoke. And that's going to immediately be thrown on towards the bomb. The defuse being stuck, and Crims just holds it off. They banked everything on the Molotov, and it does not work. Ten rounds for Fnatic in this first half. did such a good job. Yep. Nobody said to move. Roy's going to rotate right back into the crosshair of Annihilation. Nice, easy kill towards the upper bomb site. We go. And Annihilation looks for more, but another smoke up in his face. He's just getting gray screen this entire time. Fasher comes in with a lovely shot on the Khalil. Bartak again keeping it real. Ooh, down to the two versus two. It's Messi making a difference once more. The in-game leader always leads by example. And just annihilation. He did have a clutch on overpass and he misses the shot, unfortunately. That would have kick-started it pool. all. And now we got the IHC one map pool. Unfortunately, Blitz just has a big brain, so... Messi's outside deep with the bomb. Ooh. Well, this is actually being pulled back single-handedly by Bartak. He pushes in, he gets another kill. And now we're back at a three versus three. 20 seconds left for Fnatic to push into the site. Score, hot in their heels. Coming through, the bomb is down on the ground. Crimson Fasher are getting the kills, but they've got to get the bomb to the site and find Bartak. And they will do exactly that. So 15 to five. Fasher on secret. Blitz forced up into the peak. What a great game he had on overpass. A bit oh, far quieter here. On Nuke, just one kill for him in this round before Fasher trades him out. Now Techno finally activates. Yeah, Crimson didn't expect the angle. Three on four. Fnatic's going to have to recover. They've got one flashbang in their pocket. Just picked up a Molotov now. 
but there's nowhere on the map that looks easy for him at the moment. Good find from Fosher. That's Annihilation outside. And now all of a sudden they can start working this. Two players defending the upper bomb site, which is what it looks like Fnatic wants to hit at the end of the day. Z climbing up to get ready to throw some utility in these final 35 seconds. There goes the Molotov in towards the top hut. Fasher starting to clear it out. Scores the Tetris, but the first peaks actually come from Techno. Ooh. Score swings out immediately. Fasher reacts. Techno a bar attack. The last two Mongolian standing. And now it is only Techno 4K. Oh, I thought Nico Dogs would have done it. Uh.